So today, guys, we're going to be diving into the weekly vendor reset. And for all of you new and returning players, definitely some items for you to pick up for either you to have or either put in your recalibration library. And for all of you veterans, I'm sure there's something you might like. So the first item is right here at the Haven, and it's going to be with Roy. And he's going to actually have a 15% max out shotgun damage roll that you can use for your library. Now there is a black market RPK, which has LMG damage, damage to out of cover. You could put damage to armor on there for the accuracy and it already has fast hands. So it's pretty decent, but you would have to do a lot of optimization to get the LMG damage and the damage to targets out of cover fully maxed out. So just keep that in mind. So just something for you to keep in mind. But if you've been looking for one of these, it has talents that I would use. I actually like fast hands on my RPK. But yeah, the one item is definitely this 15% shotgun damage. And there really wasn't anything else here that I would pick up or recommend you guys to pick up. So the next item is actually going to be at the vendor right before you go to the clan vendor. And it's going to be right inside. And there's another item that you can use on your library. So let's go right here. So if you go here, this black market RPK, if you look at this one, this one has 12% damage to targets out of cover. You could pull this roll and throw it into your library. Another item I would pick up if you don't have this on your library. And there really wasn't anything else that I saw worth picking up here. Now the next couple items are gonna be at the clan vendor. Now this clan vendor is the same vendor that you can get in DC or in New York City. We just happen to be in New York City, so let's talk to her. So she has a night watcher mask with maxed out hazard protection. Scanner Pulse Haste, which is always maxed out on this Night Watcher mask, and then you could do whatever you want with the top row. Put weapon damage, put armor, and you have yourself a pretty solid piece. Now, if you guys are actually looking at just getting that 10% hazard protection for your recalibration library, you could do that too, but definitely a pretty good mask to pick up if you guys have been looking for this. Now, there is a True Patriot backpack with 170,000 armor. So if you're looking for the 170,000 armor for your recalibration library, you could do that. This backpack is actually one of the backpacks I actually like using on my piece. So it's already maxed out. Then you could just max out that skill haze for critical hit chance, critical hit damage, headshot damage. And I actually like the backpack for True Patriot on a four piece. But yeah, so that is another piece I would pick up if you don't have it. That for all of you healers, future initiative, there's a one skill tier, then you can re-roll that's critical hit chance for repair skills. And then they have an ongoing directive holster with weapon damage, critical hit chance. You could change out the critical hit chance for critical hit damage, or you could just max out the weapon damage. And hey, another really good piece. So some pretty solid pieces so far at the clan vendor. Now everything else was pretty decent. A police MK17, rifle damage, critical hit damage, headshot damage. With Sadis, um, a black market SASG with shotgun damage, damage to armor, critical damage, and Sadis. And then an IWI that does have 10% headshot damage. So this one isn't that bad because this one already has unhinge. It has headshot damage. It has damage to target out of cover. LMG damage. You can max out the LMG damage and then just optimize the damage targets out of cover. You can even pull off that headshot damage and take it to your recalibration library. So another item that is definitely worth looking at to pick up if you don't have these rolls or you've been looking to build around this weapon. Now, there is a 511 tactical backpack, another god roll roll right there, 12% critical damage. You could throw this into your recalibration library and that's personally what I would do with this. Now, there's a DNH mask, weapon damage, repair skills, armor regen. If you're trying to build an armor regen build and you don't have the punch junk mask, well, this might be actually a pretty good one. You could change out the repair skills for headshot damage. And hey, a pretty nice piece there. There's a Grupo Sombra holster with 6% critical hit chance. A lot of maxed out rolls. This can help you out, guys. If you guys are trying to max out your library, another one that you could throw in your library. And if you wanted to keep this holster, you could just change out the status effects for critical hit damage and just optimize that weapon damage and have yourself a god roll Grupo Sombra holster. Now there is an overlord chest piece with weapon damage repair skills i will put critical damage or headshot damage it has critical chance and it has unbreakable so a solid piece there if you're trying to build a rifle build and you, you really want to use this chest piece well there you guys go there is 8.9 percent skill duration mod a 17.2 percent repair skills mod that you can use for all of you healer builds 8.7 percent shock resistance so some pretty solid items just right here at the clan vendor so remember the same clan vendor at each so we're gonna head to dc and there's one vendor at the front of the white house that we're gonna see 
So once you're here at DC, there is the White House and the first vendor right here is gonna be a different vendor than what you might've seen. He actually has the pristine example. This comes with perfect focus. It already has weapon damage, headshot damage. You can put crit chance on their crit damage. Pretty solid piece. Um, the rolls are a little bit low on the weapon damage, headshot damage, so you will have to optimize those. But if you've been looking for this, this is actually a pretty solid piece and you guys can pick this up this week right here at the vendor. This custom P416 actually isn't bad at all. It has in sync on it has assault rifle damage, health damage, and then you can re-roll for damage targets out of cover for that rate of fire. And there you guys go, pretty, pretty good P416. Now there is a pistol, and I'm actually gonna pick this up because I don't have this roll in my library. If you look, the little arrow showing that I don't have it. So I'm gonna pick it up so I can throw it in my library right now. But yeah, 24% optimal range, and then I'll throw this one into my library in just a second. There's also an Aurel D backpack with weapon damage, crit chance, hazard protection, unstoppable force. Another piece you could take off the hazard protection, put critical hit damage. If you want to keep the hazard protection, you can max out that critical hit chance or change that roll, put headshot damage. A lot of different things you can do there. Unstoppable force, a pretty good talent. So if you're running a two piece backpack, you'll get, sorry, if you're running a two piece of raw D, you'll get the marksman rifle and headshot damage. There is a 10% critical hit damage mod. I would pick that up. The last item is actually going to be all the way on the opposite side and it's going to be right here at the campus. So the next item's here at the campus. Now, they do have a Night Watcher, but I wouldn't pick this one up unless you're trying to keep that armor roll on there and then you wanna reroll the health to something else. That's the only reason I would keep this, but the other Night Watcher mask was just a little bit better that had the hazard protection. So really up to you what you guys wanna do. Now they do have a hunting M44 with marksman rifle, headshot damage, damage charge out of cover. Then you could put Ranger as a talent and this thing will hit. Just take my word for it, try it out, and you'll thank me later. There is an M249 Bravo with LMG damage, damage target out of cover, critical hit damage, and measured. You can swap out that critical hit damage for damage to armor, critical hit chance, whatever you want. But yeah, this is also another really hard hitting M249. Now, it does have measured, so you'll definitely see the impact of the rate of fire change. Now, there's a Golden Gear mask that has armor, skill damage, hazard protection. We'll probably pass this one up. An Alp Summit holster with skill tier, armor regen, and health. Another one I would pass up. If you need that armor regen roll for your holster because you don't have a max that one, you could probably pick that up. So just one item I would probably pick up is Hunting M44, unless you're looking at building around this Night Watcher and you actually like these rolls better than your last ones. But yeah, that's it, guys. Those are the items of the week. We should have the Gunrunners vendor reset tomorrow. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, hey, nothing but skills out.